In this video, we will try to see an hardware programming with LCD screen using your DPTR, so data pointer, right? We have studied about this register while we are studying about our architecture. So with the help of this, we can able to program your LCD screen, you can able to display something in your LCD screen. So uh, while we are seeing your previous video, just go through the previous video for basics of LCD screen. So we have seen this pin diagrams, ground, contrast control and all those things. What is your command register? So it is going to select your command word and data word and this is going to be read or write. This is going to be sending your data from your data pins to corresponding registers. And these things are responsible for moving of data. Right? So it is having an eight data pins, bidirectional data and command pins. So if your RS pin is going to get the value of 0, it is going to be treated as command register and RS is going to be 1, it is going to be sending the information to your data register, is getting selected. So R bar write is going to be read or write the information from those registers. Enable, it is going to be uh, having an high to low peak. If you are having this kind of transition, so if it is going to be 1, if it is going to be 0. So what these things will do, initially we will try to take the data and keep it on your uh, port 2. So since port 2 is going to be connected to your uh, uh, data pins of your uh, LCD. So we will be keeping the data ready in your port 2 and after that we are going to have the transition from 1 to 0 so that the particular data will be moved to your command register or it can be moved inside your data register depending upon your uh, value of RS, right? So in previous video, we have made a small mistake. So this one is P3.6 is uh, RW and P3.7 is RS. So please make that correction. So correspondingly, we have to activate your uh, pin so that it is going to be having that flow of data. So these are going to be LCD commands we have seen. Uh, mostly widely we will use 0, 01, 0, 06 and after that we will be using your uh, 80 and we will be using 38. Most of the cases we will use these instructions but if you want to make a small change we can able to make that small change there. So now the question is write an assembly language program to display a message microcontroller on your LCD screen using your data pointer at line 2 character 5. So if it is going to be line 2, it is going to be getting the uh, command of C and it is going to be your fifth position. So your value should be C4, right? So that has to be entered into your command word so that this will be happening in that exact location. So the message is going to be microcontroller. It has to be using DPTR and after that port 2 access is port 2 and uh, port 2 and port 3 we are having some few control pins also. So these are going to be very basic. So here we can able to uh, see uh, the pin in terms of representation. So it is going to be 3.7 is going to represent your uh, RS and 3.6 is going to represent read bar write and 3.5 is going to represent your enable pin. So we can able to directly move into program. So origin, we have made an origin. So move DPTR with an hash of my cam my cam is going to be your already existing value which is given already in the program so we can able to just go to that location we can able to see this is your my com my com represents your command register command register values one by one in our previous program we have used uh, uh, move the value of uh, hash 38 inside your accumulator and you will be calling your command word. In that command word, you are going to push that well, uh, data inside your port 2, right? Here it is going to be slightly different. I will give all the things in sequence. So what it is represents? It is going to represent it is a 16 cross 2 display. And this is going to represent it is going to be display on and cursor on. And 0, 01 is for clearing your screen. And 0, 06 is going to make your display from left hand side to right hand side direction and C4 is going to select your line 2 and fifth character position, right? So I will give all those things in sequence and at last I will be making one zero here. So wait for that. 
or why I am making zero, it, we can able to understood when you are going to get inside your programming. So after that, I am giving an as like I am giving an command word register. I am having an uh, data register also, and what are the things I have to move inside data? I will be giving in terms of my data. So my data, it is representing, it is going to be data byte. So it is going to be taking in terms of byte representation. So it is going to be your microcontroller used inside your double quotation. So it is a string which is being used for your uh, uh, display. So after that, I am pushing the value of zero. So why I am pushing the value of zero, we will see uh, in terms of later point of time we are going to program it. So first line is going to say what are the instructions given to your LCD screen. And second line of my data is going to say the character or the string values of microcontroller should be displayed on your LCD screen. Right. So after that one, so if it is going to be C1, clear accumulator. And after that, move character, which is going to be getting in terms of memory location of your accumulator and DPTR. Right. So accumulator is going to get the value of 0, 0 because already I have cleared my accumulator plus dptr what is dptr here so dptr is going to point your mycom so mycom is going to have the value of data byte with respect to 38 0e 01 06 all those things in sequence right so in that case how i can able to uh, so the value of your uh, thing which is going to be representing 0, 0 plus dptr dptr is going to represent my first initially my 38 right so 38 is going to be represented here so this value of 38 is going to be moved inside your accumulator so i am pushing that value inside your uh, a call command word so we have seen all these things in our previous program so command word so what it is going to do it is going to push the value of accumulator inside your p2 so actually it should be p2 sorry because it is port 2 right so it is going to be p2 and after that, uh, clear 3.7. So 3.7 is going to say that it is command or data. 3.6, it is going to be writing or reading a data. 3.5 is going to make your enable high at point of time, create a delay so that it will be having some delay of 17 milliseconds or something, whichever you are going to create. And after that, it is going to be low. Whenever there is a high to low, so the value of thing, whichever you are going to specify, that will be pushed, in, pushed inside your corresponding register. Right? We have seen and clear detailed explanation in our previous video. So I am making it a little faster so that it is easy for you to understand. So this is being done, right? So this is going to happen whenever I am going to call your subroutine of command, right? So after that, I am going to create a delay so that all these things will happen in sequence. So incrementing my DPTR. So if I am going to increment my DPTR, DPTR is going to point to the next location. So if it is going to be the next location in DPTR mycom, what is your next value? So it is going to be 0e, right? So now DPTR is going to point the location of uh, 0e. So after that time, it is going to check jump 0, whether this value is 0. So it is not 0. Jump 0 means you, you can able to send the data. So now it is not zero. So it is going to some uh, yes jump to C1 so that this loop will continue again. So that it is going to clear your value of A. So move character value of A plus at A plus DPTR. So that zero zero and after that the value of DPTR which is going to be located in the location of zero e is going to be taken. So I am going to push the value of zero e inside your accumulator. So a call uh, command word so that next time accumulator is going to get the value of 0e. So all these things will happen. So after that one, uh, the next value, whichever I am going to take in terms of your uh, command word is going to be 0106c4, right? So next is going to be 01, next is going to be 06, next is going to be 0c4. So the DPTR incrementation is going to move the uh, cursors to next to next positions with respect to data right so next value i am going to have is zero right so what this is going to represent it is a display of 16 cross 2 it is going to represent display on cursor on clearing your display 06 is going to make your shifting from uh, left hand side to right hand side direction c4 is going to be a second line fifth position right if all these things are completed one by one getting inside your command register so now what i will do so i i will next incrementation i will be getting the value of zero so whenever it is going to identify the value of zero is present inside your mycom so it is going to jump to this value right which means 
the thing is completed with respect to my com informations so what is the thing which is going to happen here so move dptr with respect to my data value so i am going to push that value inside my dptr so again the same clear my accumulator move character a comma at accumulator plus dptr so here i am going to call my data write right? so we have seen already what is data write so instead of using this clear p 3.7 it is going to be set byte 3.7 right so just you can able to change the command word all things are going to be same again it is going to be delay increment your dptr jump zero again so that it is going to be jumping again again so that it is going to be creating an infinite loop so that your data can be visible for you inside your screen for long duration of time unless you are going to press your reset button if it is not being complete so that whatever values you are going to give so i have created our microcontroller right so microcontroller so after that next value t r o l l r so i can able to give it in quotation and after that i can able to give in terms of 8051 so after that i can able to give the value of programming so all these things i can able to give it one by one so that all the values will be taken one by one and it is going to be pushed inside your lcd screens right but i am just displaying my microcontroller value only right so next value whatever i am going to have is going to be zero right so here i have identified microcontroller after that i have given zero so if zero is identified it is going to be jumping out of this one and it is going to be rotating uh, in the loop again and again so if you are having a sequence of things to be displayed microcontroller 8051 programming instead of using zero microcontroller comma 8051 comma program all those things you can able to give and you can able to display it so this is with respect to command word so here only changes which are going to make is set by p3.7 so after that you can able to create a delay here uh, the delay which i have used is going to be with respect to polling method so in last program we have seen how we can able to use your timer right so you can able to use your timer also so we have uh, done so many videos with respect to timer so you can able to check with that video also to enable your timer so this can be done and we can able to uh, correspondingly make our programming work so now we can able to uh, see our real time program now i hope uh, the screen is visible to you along with your uh, microcontroller kit so already existing thing we have seen like it will be having esa mcb 51v1 version 3 so this is an already existing program which is been there inside your kit so now we are going to change this program and this should be having a uh, second line fifth character to have its display as a microcontroller so if you want to make that one so a small change i am going to uh, make here in terms of program so this command while i am explaining in terms of program i have been taken here uh, after a call delay but uh, the change why i am making here is because uh, if it is going to be jump zero before uh, verification of its zeroth condition so we are going to uh, get into an consideration like zero will also be entered inside your command word so what i am doing i am just uh, changing this program uh, in terms of this alignment so i am just jumping um, in the condition of jump zero here so that i am making sure that zero zero will not be entered inside your command write right this is a change which i am going to make here in terms of programming so just make the change and you can able to give a try so in terms of characters we can able to see that it is going to start from fifth character right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 so after 16 what it will do it will not display its character so it is going to start from 5 and it is going to display till the numbers which is going to can be displayed in terms of your lcd screen right so we can able to uh, run the program and we can able to check so we are going to have an shortcut here so instead of giving all the characters one by one i am just going to get the characters in terms of my dptr so these are my command words so this is where i have made the change right so this zero should not be entering inside your command word so i have changed that sequence of code so 38 is for uh, displaying as 16 cross 2 0e 
0106 C4 it is representing second line fifth character and the character which or the string which has to be displayed is in terms of microcontrollers or microcontroller anything is so in question is microcontroller right so i can able to save this program and i am going to uh, enter inside debug mode so i have already uh, run this program so you just try to uh, debug and all those things one by one so i am just running this program and you can able to see the changes in terms of your kit yeah so it started from here so i have created a time delay of 1 second so it is going to have huge number of time delay so here if i am going to increase the time delay so in terms of taking this loops i should be increasing this time delay if i want to have in terms of less time delay i can able to reduce the numbers of uh, your time delay condition so if i want to reduce it so press your reset here and after that one uh, come out of debug mode and after that one just reach the position of your time delay so here if i am going to give in terms of 100 so the time delay can be reduced after you can use your timers also to create this time delay so you can able to give a try on that also so after that i am going to save the program i am going to and after that i can able to run this program and see it's having a quick response in terms of lcd so the characters which can be displayed is from mic ro cointo rl so after the 16th character is completed so other things will not be displayed if you want to display it completely make sure that you are going to get those characters here also so start from zero since the program is asking from fifth character i am displaying like this if you want to uh, change it in terms of other lines also you can able to make a changes by creating changes in terms of your time delay here so this is the sequence which i have to be taking in terms of dptr so this is like a method we are going to reduce the number of lines uh, in your program so in previous program we have seen we can able to give the values one by one also and you can able to do else i can able to use my dptr to reduce the number of lines so if i want to increase the uh, characters also so if i want to give one more character here it can also be displayed so instead of zero here give some other character and after that give comma zero till that point of time it will try to display this character first and after that the displaying the next uh, string after that it is going to display the next string and after that it is going to end up in point so you can able to give a try uh, hello uh, programming embedded programming or some other thing in terms of two different strings also you can able to give a try and you can able to make the display there. so here uh, we are going to make use of polling method so here uh, i am going to stop the program again and again uh, using this a uh, jump statement so that after display it is going to stop for some uh, some duration of time right thank you for your patience listening